Yeah, I know it's not Christmas, but five points clear at the top of Christmas feels significant. It, is it significant because we're only 14 games in? Well, obviously, it's, it's great to be where, where we are and we are enjoying that moment. And, um, and obviously, we have a, a big break. We have to reflect on what we are doing and, and be very much prepared for what is going to come after the World Cup. But um, our aim is to play better as a team every single day, to have better tools to, to do what we want to do on that pitch. And um, I can say it's just it's been phenomenal to work with these players and staff. And, and you have momentum now so yeah. is it in a way frustrating because who knows how players yeah when a team is in that moment you want to carry on playing obviously but um, it's not possible um, we have to use the time now in, in the best possible way so the players that are not um, participating in the World Cup they will have some time off which they fully deserve and the rest just fulfill a dream that everybody every kid has had when when they had a chance to represent the national team in, in a World Cup. It doesn't get better than that. Mikel, a lot of people um, across the country have spoken about the World Cup and they've looked at Manchester City and they've said, Erling Haaland, when everybody's away at the World Cup, he's going to be full of rest. You've got an influential Norwegian player in your team as well. How, how big a difference could could Odegaard make, certainly in the early games after the World Cup? When he's not I don't have a clue. <laughs> Obviously, he's got two internationals before that, uh, so he's going to be committed with the national team. And after that, we will try to prepare in the best possible way. Um, but we don't know, you know, when you are in the rhythm and when you are competing, sometimes it's, it's much better. So the players that are here, they will need to, to compete and have um, enough fitness to be able to, to play in the right way against West Ham. And uh, we'll try to prepare them that way. It's a big call to make him captain, though, but he looks a real leader. And it is, uh, on his own way and uh, with his character, but um, he's a fantastic person, he's a fantastic footballer, and, uh, and what he's doing at his age um, is not easy, and uh, we are really happy to have him. Come on. Just following on off Martin again, um, how important is it that he's been decisive in the box? Like six goals in now this season. Is something he's really adding to him? No, that's what you want, you're attacking midfielders to to win games and uh, not only assisting but scoring goals and he's changed that mentality and uh, he's practicing a lot and he wants to get to his best which we don't know what his limit is like like many other the other kids that we have so um, that's what we want embrace uh, the good moments and uh, support them when they're not that good and just on granite is, is he okay he's fine he was he wasn't feeling good and for granted to put his hand up and say i need to come off um, he wasn't feeling good at all. We had a few boys uh, with some issues, tummy issues, and obviously we cannot change three or four in the first half, but uh, I'm delighted that we adapted to those circumstances as well and we managed to, to win the game. Mikel, obviously you've been taking it game by game so far, but now we've reached this break point and we won't see you again for a few weeks. Are you able to reflect on just how far ahead of expectations this season might be or might not be and how it's gone? Yeah, probably I need a week or so to do that, but um, obviously nobody expected us to be where we are right now in the amount of games that we have managed to to win, but I'm, I'm more focused on our way of playing and our way of living together and the atmosphere that we have in, in this decent room and around Colney and, and what we have generated with our supporters uh, in our stadium and the relationship between every member of of the club and uh, that's much more powerful and um, and my job is to focus after on playing better every game. Has it surpassed your own expectations of what could be possible with this team? Yes, but I take it day by day and not even game by game. I understand that the better we do the daily things and and uh, and we commit to doing those things better every single day, every individual is going to contribute to, to the team to be better and that's what we want to do. Charles? Just on, you said there there was a, some tummy issues with the players. Was that something that was sort of going on overnight at the team hotel? Or? No, overnight. I think it was after after the pretty much meal, but uh, I didn't even know about it. And and the dog now was trying to get some players sorted because they weren't feeling good. So. What did you have for the meal? Sorry? What did you have? I don't have any food. <laughs> on Mass Day, I don't eat a lot, so uh, I'm fine. What was the meal then? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Did you watch the city game? Yes. We were on the bus. You watched it together? Sorry? You all watched it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we go to, we watch it together, yes. What was it? Like we normally do with many other 
games. What was the reaction when Tony scored the, the goal at the end? As you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, Mikel, is that a give you a boost going out though? Can it sometimes maybe lose the focus a little bit if you're thinking out of the team? Do you think it did give a bit? Yes, but that's the way that you leave this league and that's the beauty. And you start to do that on, on the second game of the season because the competition is that big that you're always looking at other opponents. And I think it's something that every team does. And when I've been in other teams, uh, we used to do it all the time as a player. And, or as a coach, and, and it's natural, but uh, but then you have to focus on your own thing, your own performance, and, and win in the game. And this week, I think it was very tricky because it was too many things around uh, the World Cup and, and certain individuals, but um, thanks God the boys did what they have to do. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Yeah.